start hear heard some strange sounds and um, wasn't real sure where they came from. Checked in the back, to, you know, maybe a machine acting up. So I was coming back up here to the front. I noticed the the window rattling, which was very unusual. And was, I got to looking and was able to peek out the door and saw only legs hanging out the the door. The noise we must have been hearing was him breaking into the, breaking through the glass into the door, and was trying to crawl through. So all we saw was legs hanging out. It was really kind of funny, you know, but also scary at the time, not knowing what to do. Well, because you don't know what he has in his hands either, because you can't no, see it. No, we him. didn't. We yeah. didn't. And so at that point, because he looked kind of trapped in the doorway, I just hollered, opened the door, and hollered at him to. Hey, get out of here, you know, and he was trying to back up a little bit, so I hollered for my son in the back to come up just in case mm -hmm. there was a problem. And at that time, he was kind of backing out of the door. We didn't think he had anything, you know, like a gun. He didn't right. come back out with a gun or anything that we could see. And so he takes off, and my son takes off after him. Um, in the meantime, I hollered for my daughter-in-law to call 911. That time, then see Stephen you know, just kind of bulldog him and take him down in the street, and we were able to hold him there until the police arrived. It actually felt like forever, but it was only just a few minutes. Um, you know, we were impressed, especially with the shortage on the police officers. They were still here within, you know, maybe five, six minutes. Um, yeah, you know, but you know, like I said, when you're sitting out there in the middle of the street, you know, Stephen had a chokehold on him, and I do have conceal and carry, and so I held held my gun on him. And what was he saying to you? Oh, please don't shoot me! Please don't shoot me! You know, I'll be good. I'll stay right here if you let go of me. Please don't shoot me. Which we weren't going to shoot him, but but you were telling me, hey, you know, I, you need to sit still because you know I can. And he was just being, and then when we see saw the officers come around, he just said, "Okay, the police are here. Let me go. Police are here. Let me go." <laughs>